So a lot of people now are starting to move towards retirement and you've got a choice. You can choose to, you know, let's just relax and enjoy retirement. Or is this something that you've really always, always wanted to do, but never given yourself the initiative, never given yourself the credit, never given yourself the resources to pursue? I think there's a lot of people there who have been working and just working at life. I mean, think about it. In the in the days of the baby boomers, it was like, you know, who the heck are you to enjoy life, enjoy your job? Come on, just get on with it and put in your time. That's the mindset that was there. And a lot of people put aside their passions. My guest today is Patricia Watson, who has has jumped into not just one, but two passions after her retirement. And she actually already made what in her work career a significant change from just a, a, a job that she wasn't crazy about into something that was a lot more fulfilling. It's something... Um Maya Angelou said a long time ago, which is really interesting, she was doing an interview with Oprah and she said, I was having a dinner party and this person came into my house and they started, you know, naysaying everything and I asked them to leave. I can't have that negative energy in my house. And that to me was, I can't have negative energy around me. And if somebody is negative, I mean, like, like for instance, I am a spiritual coach, so there are people who come to me that have that negative energy. And what I try and do and help them is to look at what's going on within their lives right now, paint the picture of what they would like to see, and then also start to formulate some kind of ideas and plans in terms of how to get there. I'm not saying get rid of the negative energy. I'm saying let's replace it with something that is more positive so that you can move forward in life and not get stuck. 